So I have a guest coming over for today's video, so we gotta get some things ready before he gets here. Gonna need a very pretty gaming PC. We're gonna need a monitor. And we're gonna need a sound level reader. I promise it'll all make sense in a minute. But before we can go over anything else, I have to get this all hooked up. So before we get into anything, let's go ahead and use our sound level meter and see, you know, just what this room's sound level is without anything on. Now, the only things that are on, the fan is slightly moving and, I mean, maybe the air conditioner, but you can't really even hear the air conditioner. So this is as dead silent as my room's ever gonna get. Turn this on, put it right there. Okay, so it's hovering around 32 to 33 dBA in this room with nothing on. Now, what I wanted to do was I wanted to see, this is just your average computer. It's a 10600K and a 3070 Ti. It's nothing too crazy. It does have three intake fans, two exhaust fans up top, and one exhaust fan in the back. And that's pretty standard for a PC. So what I wanted to do now is take a reading on how loud it is when it's just sitting at idle, and then ramp up the fan speed to 100% and see what the DBA is then. So this will be just with the PC on. So with the computer on, it's like 42 to 43 DBA, so not a huge leap. This is actually a pretty quiet system. Now let's see what happens when we turn the fans to 100% as well as the GPU to 100%. So this computer isn't really all that loud. Now it does have a lot of fans, but it's the thermal right fans. They don't get too, there's not like a crazy RPM on those fans. So this getting to 45, 46 dBA is actually really, really good. It's a pretty quiet system. So I'm interested to see how well the system we're going to be putting together compares to this particular unit. But I'm going to go ahead and disassemble all this because our guest has arrived. All right, so the desk is cleaned out. Let me introduce you to the owner of today's PC. So apparently he really, really loves a quiet system. Can you tell me why? Well, I have a little bit of ADHD and maybe a little OCD and I, uh, Don't we all? I can't, I can't handle uh, the constant noises. So uh, I'm really hoping that this will make me want to just leave my computer on because I'll, I'll honestly, a lot of times I want to leave my computer on but the noise is just too much and I yeah. constantly have to turn it on and off, on and off. Oh, understandable. All right, well, let's hopefully, hopefully this case is gonna do it for you because I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not 100% sold on this case. It's the Antec P101 Silent. I've never built in a closed box system. I've always had, you guys know, I've always done systems that are crazy open, lots of colors, lots of RGB, lots of fans. And this is completely opposite of what we usually do here. So this is really interesting to me because I don't think that this case is going to do what it says it's gonna do. I hope I'm wrong for, for sake because he wants a quiet PC, but uh, why don't you go grab the case? I wanna show the audience the case. It's way bigger than I thought it was gonna be when he showed me the photo of it. Freaking massive the tank. All right, so maybe I can get like the case here and then can actually be in the shot. Sorry, my office isn't very big. But the idea behind this case is it's like insulated on the, the sides, the front, the top, back, everywhere is like insulated so that it can renew, reduce the amount of noise that you get from your system. My concern is that because it's closed and there isn't a lot of like air intake, that once the system begins to get hot and start really generating a lot of heat, that the fans are going to ramp up so high that you will eventually be able to hear it. Now it advertises itself and the reviews that I've read about it say that it won't happen, but we only know until we find out. Now I haven't seen inside this case, so we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Hey, you got a secret on how to open it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, holy <laughs> shit. Oh, 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 oh no. Okay, well it's not damaged. <laughs> Oh, but as you can see, this there is foam right here. That's actually quite a bit of foam too. I mean, have you felt that? Ooh, yeah. That's actually pretty nice. Uh, it makes it so that it doesn't, you know, you, you you'd usually when you hit these, you can feel or, and, and hear it pretty loud. It's actually, it insulates it pretty well. Now it is on this side panel here, the back panel, and you can see it on the front here. Now there are a ton of hard drive bays. Are you planning on turning this thing into no. a NAS? That's not... It's gonna be very, 
unused. I need a better office. Now, what we are gonna be doing is we're gonna be changing the front fans here. We have some Noctua fans for the front here, and then we're gonna be replacing this back fan here with a pure, it's a pure Wings 3. Is that the, th the third fan, or did you get three Noctuas? I got three, let's pull them. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Let's, let's see them. Yeah. All right, so we do have three beautiful Noctua fans that are gonna go in here. Now the front here does come with three included 120s, but we're gonna switch it to two 140s up front, and then we're gonna switch out this 140 in the back, just to try to get the quietest fans that we can. And we also have some more quiet goodies going inside of this system that we're gonna show you in just a minute. But I believe that if we remove these drive bays, we're gonna get a better airflow inside of here, which will automatically help us, one, keep your stuff cold, and two, just reduce that noise, because I know you don't want the noise. All right, so show us what other goodies we got going inside of here. Nice, the box of fun. We got the cream of the crop. All right, so we got a 9800X3D. Just because this system is quiet does not mean that it's not going to be powerful. All right, so he's got a T705 four terabyte Gen 5 NVMe. What are the read and writes on this thing? It's gotta be, isn't it 13,000 on this? 14,100 megabytes per second read and write speed. This thing is absolutely wild. All right, we got 32 gigs. Is this 32? That should be 64, oh, 232. Yeah. yeah. All right. So we got 64 gigs, two 32 gig sticks of ripped Rip Jaws S5 DDR5 RAM. This is your this is your antenna. And we got an antenna. Um, oh, is this your fan controller? Fan controller yeah. Nice fan controller for your Noctua. All right. So for the cooler, we have the Noctua NHD15. This is an amazingly popular CPU cooler. It's unbelievably quiet and it's unbelievably powerful. You're paying a premium for a cooler like this, but it, it pays off in the end, especially if you're looking for premier cooling and you're looking for it to be quiet. And I think the last piece is the motherboard, right? Yep. This thing is a weighty boy, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Jeez Louise. So for the board we're using today, we're using the ROG Strix B650E-F. This is going to be an absolute beast with this system. DDR5 memory, Gen 5 speeds, PCI 5.0 for when you eventually get your graphics card, which is gonna be a... I don't know yet. <laughs> well, don't know yet. <laughs> Well, it's, it's a good thing you don't know yet because now you got plenty of time to figure it out because we don't have the graphics card for today's build. He did bring his old graphics card just because you can't find a graphics card right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this entire system together so that way when he gets his card, he can just throw it in here and just see a massive improvement in performance. So this is actually gonna put the system together today. It's his system. I will never take the glory of building your system away from somebody. I will be here to assist if needed, but uh, other than that, I'm just here to collect that sweet, sweet monetization money. It's like a day off for me. But let's get started. So let's, uh, let's clear off the desk and let's get it moving. So 
I know it's probably extremely silly to see a GTX 980 go into a system with a 9800X3D, seeing as how the X3D is the best gaming chip that you can find. But unfortunately, that is the placeholder for now. He is going to find a much powerful, much more powerful GPU and he's gonna put that in here. But that didn't stop the testing. So let me pull out my phone so we can go over these numbers here. So this system running with no panels on was running at 35 dB. 35 dB is slightly louder than it was in this room with nothing running at all. Now with the panels on, it drops down to 33 dB, which is actually just as quiet as it is in here with nothing running. So it's almost like this system isn't on at all. Now when you ramp this thing up to 100%, it does hit 45 dB, which is actually the exact same decimal level that we got from my system that I put together a few days ago. So what I thought originally was actually correct that the system is actually loud. Now, here's the difference though. At 100% load, it's that loud. This system will not hit that, that type of load just playing games. So I have the strong feeling that once he starts playing games on the system, he's going to see that it's actually much quieter than it is when this thing is running at 100% load. Now, it also could be the graphics card that we have in here. Now, it is that single fan blower type uh, GPU. So once he switches out the GPU for a triple fan, there is a strong possibility that it even decreases the sound even more because there'd be better cooling on the card. Now, only time will tell. I'm sure he'll fill me in on you know, just how quiet it is, since now we're best friends. Now, something interesting that I definitely did want to talk about is, one, we forgot to tell you about the power supply. That power supply is awesome. 1,000 watt be quiet supply, nice. super sick. But it's packaged extremely well, and it comes with this cool little, like, overclocking switch. It's very strange. I've never seen this before. Now, fortunately, now, unfortunately, we didn't put it in this system, but fortunately, I have the exact same power supply coming for my new personal build, and I'm definitely gonna have to take a look at this thing, because it's just a very strange thing to add to a uh, power supply. Now I wanna hear a big round of applause and thank you for our visitor for coming in and bringing this PC. Come on in, man. Uh, thank you for bringing this PC in today so that we can have a guest on the channel. This is actually the first time this channel's ever had a guest. So uh, thanks, man. I appreciate you, you being here. Thank you so much. Yeah, man. This I hope the system fun. works out really well for you. Uh, definitely keep me in the loop on what card you get so that I can tell them because they're probably gonna wanna know what card you went. You went with. Yeah, I, I can't wait to find out myself. Awesome. <laughs> awesome, man. Well, just so you guys know, I did want to say that no matter where you guys are in the world, I hope that you're having the most fantastic day. And I'm going to see you right here for the next episode.